I really like to push the boundaries of Premiere Pro and in this case I'd like to do some uh, motion tracking, some camera tracking within Premiere Pro itself. I've got this situation, I've got a lady in front of the green screen with two markers on it and I've got some movement from the camera and there's a background image of my school which needs to follow the same movement as the camera does and of course need to green screen and mask it and well all the extra bit to make it work um, but first of all I need to do the the camera tracking I'm gonna go to the new title window and I need to add some rectangles on top of my markers which are on the wall there we go close down the title window it's already been saved over here so I'm gonna drag it on top of my video and now I've got two uh, rectangles over there and of course these rectangles need to follow the lead of the markers in the background and that's what I'm gonna animate in the effect controls panel so I'm gonna select the title open up motion and enable position, scale and rotation in order to follow the x, y and z axis of the movement. So I'm going to go a little bit further, a couple of keyframes and basically it's a repetition of steps, rotating a bit, moving a bit. I don't use the scale so I make a keyframe for the scale. Going a bit further moving, rotating and this one needs to be scaled a bit in order to make it fit. You don't have to be really precise to make it work You need to figure out where you want to stop and make some adjustments to the rectangles with a sudden important camera movement you will uh, need to alter the, the keyframes a bit but once again you don't need to be that precisely to make it all work So when you don't use the scale, position or rotation, or one of them, uh, make sure you do make a keyframe for those, otherwise your animation will be uh, a little bit awkward. Something like this. Well if you're done you've got quite a lot of keyframes which you all need to copy and paste on your other footage. So I'm going to select all of the keyframes, copy them, select my other footage and paste those keyframes. There we go. If we open up motion you will see all the same keyframes that you've made within the title. Um, I'm going to hide my title bar and hide my video footage in order to see the movement of my camera. There you go. Now all that needs to be done is taking care of the green screen and the stuff around it. So I'm going to go to the effects, video effects, keying, the ultra key will do a great job. There we go, I'm going to select the green pixel over here, beautiful. I'm going to make sure that all the garbage around it will be hidden. So I'm going to open up my opacity, make a mask for the opacity, make sure that I only see the lady and nothing of the rubbish around her. There we go and we can easily track forward to make sure that uh, the mask will uh, stay in place 
and please keep an eye on your mask when it's tracking because uh, you need to stop the tracking when it goes wrong and start it over again from that point in time so let's uh, see what it does okay somewhere over here I'm losing her head a bit she's getting a haircut over here so I need to enlarge the mask quite a bit on top and track it forward from that point on okay here she's missing her lower body so I'm gonna zoom out a bit let's say 50% extend the mask downward a bit more continue tracking okay need to extend it a bit over here as well tracking forward and now you've got a tracked image following the same lead as the camera does and of course when taking a little bit more time the result will be even better so hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you and enjoy your work in Premiere Pro bye bye